Hi, this is GC Rock from PSW. Trying something different today. I've had a bit of feedback and people want to see reviews of the trophies that I do. Um, so every game that I platinum or nearly platinum and do guides for on a site, I'll review the trophy list afterwards and uh, hopefully you guys like it. So the game I've been working on recently is Metro Last Light. I got the platinum for the game. I'm going to quickly go through the trophies and let you know which ones I think you may struggle on and you know which ones are easy. Uh, to be honest with you, I give it a 4 out of 10 platinum difficulty. I thought it was a very easy game to platinum. There's only one trophy that really gave me much difficulty. I'll go in depth with that in a minute. Uh, I won't go through every trophy because it'll take forever. Uh, just make a short video for you, don't want to bore you. So, uh, first of all, these trophies here are uh, very easy. You can get just playing, really, especially to kill human enemies and mutants. Uh, first trophy that gave me a bit of difficulty was the stealthily kill 15 enemies. I thought that this just meant get a stealth kill on 15, but instead it means you've got to get 15 in a row, in un not interrupted. Um, I found a great place to do this. It's on the chapter Revolution, if I remember right. And there's a video on my website at www.playstationworld.co. You can find that in the trophy guide. And it's a very easy way to get that trophy if you're having difficulty. Same with the Inferno one. I never got this through normal play. Uh, I've done a video to show you a great place to get that trophy out of the way in a matter of minutes. Once again, I think it's on the chapter Revolution. Uh, all these trophies are easy. Uh, the vid Ever Vigilant Trophy, Disarm 10 Traps, it's just a matter of finding out where they are. It's got to be done in one playthrough. You can chap this select to the first level that you're going to get your first trap on and just play on from there. That will get the trophy. A video on the site for that with some locations. Uh, there's some collectible trophies here which will be time consuming. Then There's not too many. You've got a few musical instruments to find and play. I think it's 17 in total. Uh, I've got a video showing you the locations for that. Uh, find 43 of the hidden diary pages. There's practically one or two every chapter. I've got a video on the site showing where they all are to get that trophy. And it's just a little bit time consuming to get them. Nothing too bad though. Doesn't really add to the trophy difficulty with a guide. Uh, the chapter specific trophies, uh, they're all very easy with guides. Uh, quite easy to do without to be honest with you. But have a look at my trophy guide if you're stuck on any of those. Nothing's going to keep you too long there. Um, the two trophies for completing the game one's a good ending one's a bad ending uh, Sailor V is probably going to be the ending that you'll get nine times out of ten if you just play the game normally killing humans killing mutants you're not going to get the good ending um, so don't worry too much about that one uh, the redemption trophy requires you to get a good ending and that's a bit more difficult because you've got to do about 70% of the hidden good morale points in the game uh, you can get good morale points for listening to conversations not killing humans not killing too many mutants there's a few decisions in the game if you make the good decision that goes towards a good ending if you go to my site as a guide with all the possible good points you can get throughout the game all you got to do is follow that guide do about 70% of those points not do any negative morale points and you'll get the good ending and get that trophy uh, I did it in one go. It, it won't take more, more than one playthrough if you focus on it. Uh, next few trophies are easy. I've got a video for not shoot, no shooting allowed. Uh, I did that once again on Revolution chapter. You've got to kill ten enemies in a row with throwing knives. Uh, so make sure you get enough throwing knives before that chapter. You stock up on five, and when you ma make a kill with them, you can get pick up the knife from the dead body so you won't run out. Uh, watch my video if you need to, but it's an easy trophy to get. Uh, the hardest trophy on the game, which probably the reason why it's a 4 out of 10 for me, it would be 2 out of 10 otherwise, is the Shadow Ranger trophy. You've got to go through the whole game without killing a single human. Um, there's one enemy at the end that you're allowed to kill it's the only enemy, it's the flamethrower guy, it's the only one the game forces upon you so um, you just got to go through every human chapter walking through it, not getting a kill, it's very easy but they take me about four playthroughs to do it because um, some, some enemies can die without you knowing on one chapter so that makes it difficult so let's rush through that chapter in the end uh, you can find my guide at my site it tells you everything you can and can't do uh, to put it simple though the only thing you can do is destroy the tank in the last chapter and kill the flamethrower guy there's if you kill anyone beforehand by mistake you got to start that whole game again which is why this trophy can make you want to break your control to be honest with you so just 
stick with it, you'll get it, follow my guide. And the last two trophies here, they're for completing the game in Ranger Mode and Ranger Mode Hardcore. This is a DLC for the game, so they don't count towards the Platinum. If you do have the DLC, I've got a guide on the site, but to be honest with you, it's very easy. You don't have no HUD, you can't see what ammo you've got. Uh, enemies are easier to kill, but you're also easier to be killed. Um, it's just meant to be the ultimate challenge for Metro Last Light. After playing the game about four or five times, I didn't find it a challenge. I just strolled through it. I went through all the human levels without being spotted. I, mutant levels I didn't find too hard at all. Um, so if you do get stuck on that, visit my site, watch my videos, and they should help. Uh, but that's basically it to the game. The trophies are very, very easy. Like I said, you've got videos online to watch if you get stuck on them. Nothing keeps you too long. You're looking at 15 hours plus for the game. I wouldn't say anything over than 25 hours. Uh, it just all depends on the Shadow Ranger trophy and how long that takes you to complete the game without killing anyone. Uh, if you'd like me to do more of these videos, then I don't know, comment, let me know. Um, <laughs>